shifting to our local economy and our promise to control city spending and reduce the tax burden. The state of any city is viewed in part on the level of taxation, the services that are provided in return, and the ability of taxpayers to afford it. I am proud that over the last three years we have reduced the city's property tax levy twice. However, recent property valuation increases by the Douglas County Assessor jeopardize our progress of lowering your tax burden. These increases will lead to unaffordable tax bills for many citizens if other local government subdivisions do not start reducing their levies too. I have already committed that if these high property valuations remain, the city will do our part by further reducing our levy. We must ask the other taxing entities to do the same. Our state relies disproportionately on property taxes. For years, the legislature have studied the state's tax structure but have not taken any action to address it. Now the taxpayers have to deal with the consequences. Until the state addresses this long-standing disparity, I pledge to offset these wild swings as much as we can by controlling spending and further reducing taxes. We have made tremendous progress lately in restructuring and improving union agreements that provide pay and benefits to our employees and provide for their retirement. This is still a significant issue for the future of our city and for all taxpayers that live in Omaha. And it is also very important for our employees. After a career in public service, retirees need a stable program that they can count on, one that is fair and balanced and strong. And as you know, we recently reached a tentative agreement on the police union labor contract. Following the adoption of that agreement, all city employee union agreements have been renegotiated, improved, and approved during my term as mayor.